Good morning, welcome to the vlog. I'm Tova, this is Parent XP. I have been into weightlifting for about a year now. I work out at the gym a lot and one of the results of this is that my clothes don't really fit me anymore. Um, today I'm going to do something about my wardrobe because my wardrobe is full of stuff that either don't fit me or that it's just worn and tired and shapeless. Shape luff. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm going to clear out my wardrobe and just see um, what the state is really. My work wardrobe should be fine, I've been keeping up with that over this time because I am client facing and I like dressing for the level of work that I do so I have really been making sure that my work wardrobe is up to date. My workout wardrobe is obviously reasonably okay because well I go to the gym a lot. What I don't have is clothes that I can wear when I spend time with my family, on the weekends, on time off, that kind of thing, and see what it is I've got to work with because it's almost better to have less than not have enough. At the end of this vlog, I'm going to introduce a challenge. That I'm setting my husband. It is related, trust me, so stay with me and you're gonna find out what it is. Oh, I'm so torn. It's 100% silk. It is light, it's floaty. It is a little bit big, but it's supposed to be just this gorgeous floaty garment. Ooh. But apparently it has also got holes in it. It goes. There's nothing terribly wrong with it. There's nothing terribly right with it. But it is a cardigan, it is an additional layer, it's relatively smart, it stays, for now. I might actually try that trick of putting the hanger um, the wrong way around and then seeing sort of what's still hanging that way. Um, that could be, that could be amazing. Too big and bubbly. Too big and shapeless. I haven't worn this in ages. like on. Obviously not with this particular bra on, but hiding away all the hangery bits. I don't have a mirror up here, so I've just taken a lot of selfies. It might be a good one for summer. I think I'm going to keep this one. It was very much a breastfeeding dress for me. I haven't worn it in a long time. It's got the buttons here to open up to, to get access. Um, 
but maybe it is actually worthwhile uh, starting to use it again. I loved this dress when I bought it. It's one of the first things I bought when I got, went back to work after having had this. It's too big. And that's such a shame. Because it's such a beautiful dress. But I don't wear it. So it doesn't look good on anyone. Really nice dress, but it always falls off at the shoulders, and again, probably a bit too big. Tunic I haven't worn in a long time. Nothing wrong with it. Let's do the hanger trick. work dress that is actually too big. Which is a shame. New stripy cardigan. Again, that's something I've worn in a long time, but perhaps it is time I got back to it. And my beautiful black tie event dress. This is the so, uh, we have got a tutu, which I haven't worn yet, apart from for Halloween, but I'm thinking underneath this makes it a really nice wedding outfit. In terms of leisure wardrobe, we have this and a few pairs of jeans. Maybe three pairs of jeans is okay for other people. I get vomited on on a daily basis. I need more jeans than three pairs. Uh, they end up in the wash so much. That's actually why so many of my clothes are quite worn as well, because they are just washed all the time. Because I have a child who throws up. Right. That's the wardrobe done. I'm very, very pleased with that clear out. In this drawer is most of my workout gear as well. Um, but at the moment, there is sort of no real um, order in this drawer at all. I have my Star Wars Christmas jumper, um, which has done two Christmases so far, and uh, is probably going to be going strong for a few more. Very seasonal very last season. Oh, right, so, my Just Strong joggers, they are new, they fit, they are workout wear. Pair of lovely, but two big leggings. Workout leggings that fit. Out. Workout bra fits. A pair of workout shorts made by yours truly. I very rarely get the chance to sew. Uh, I love doing it. I have an overlocker and a normal machine, um, and it happens maybe twice a year. <laughs> this was the last thing I made. They are really cute. And they fit! I have four t-shirts that fit me. Kind of. Um, <laughs> Rob made this for me when I was pregnant. We um, 
we've always had code names for our babies and uh, both of our babies were IVF and the embryos were put back inside me when they were eight cells big. So Eileen was called Magic 8 Ball and Alice was called BB8 because the balls with eight. So Rob, <laughs> Rob made this for me to use as a maternity um, t-shirt. It is size medium, uh, it's not maternity at all, it was just normal. Um, I obviously couldn't wear it the whole pregnancy, um, but it was really cute early on. And it, it's okay, it, it's an okay size, actually, still. And it's my big hit t shirt, come on. Another one of Rob's things, oh my god, this needs ironing. We stole this idea of Swat Like Jason Momoa is behind you. But um, Rob then designed it with the Aquama logo, um, and on the front it says "Bench like Hugh Jackman is spotting you" <laughs> with Wolverine font uh, and logo. So yeah, he made this for me. I really like it. My just strong exercise tank, Life Behind Bars, which is the logo that first drew me to that company. I'm a just strong ambassador, and. Uh, I will pop a link in the description below that will give you 10% off their workout gear because I am, um, yeah, as I say, I'm, a, I'm an ambassador by them. I get a little bit of pay every time my link is used. Definitely. <laughs> For some absolutely bizarre reason, I have, an, um, I have a rain cap. No, I don't know why either. <laughs> it felt like such a good idea when I bought it. What's wrong with me? I'm so happy I managed to get through all of that today. That's my wardrobe and my chest of drawers completely gone through. All of the old, tatty, too big, shapeless clothes gone. There are some really nice items there as well and some of them I'm gonna give away, some of them I'm probably gonna try and sell. The upshot of all of this is, as suspected, as I knew, I don't have an awful lot of clothes to wear on the weekends, on my free time. I've had to get rid of a couple of work dresses. I will replace them over time, that's, that's fine, but I have a good amount of clothes to choose from that will have me looking representative in the office, whether I'm out meeting clients or not. But I really, really need clothes to wear for my free time. But I'm busy, I really don't like shopping, and I haven't got the faintest idea what suits me anymore. None whatsoever. So, have you guys heard of Lucky Hero? Lucky Hero is a UK online personal shopper service. You go on their website, you fill in a questionnaire about your likes and your dislikes, your size, and what it is you want the personal shopper to focus on. And then somebody picks out five items for you, send them home to you, you get to try them on, you've got five days to decide what you're keeping, what you're not keeping, send back anything you don't keep, pay for the rest. So I thought, why not? It actually sounds really good. It sounds like I might be pushed a little bit out of my comfort zone if somebody else picks out my clothes for me. Uh, I might end up with stuff I really wouldn't have thought of, but that really suited me. But <laughs> I'm, also, I'm also a little bit nervous. And so I thought, let's try another thing. And let's pitch that other thing against Lucky Hero. 
I'm going to get my husband to do some shopping for me. So I'm going to give Rob exactly the same information I gave Lucchiero and exactly the same remit. Buy five items, I will try them on and I will let you know what I keep. <laughs> hey, I think it's a funny idea. So, who do you think is going to be doing it best? Lucchiero or Rob? There are some things I really, really want. And I have no idea if either of them are going to pick something like that out. I would love a pair of black skinny fit jeans that have been treated to look a bit shiny, kind of leathery. Or a pair of black feather skinnies, or you know, something like that. But I would like a pair of really cool, kind of biker, kind of going back to my gothy roots, pair of trousers, because I think I am going to be able to rock those really well now, because I've got really nice legs there, behind, because of all the workouts I'm doing. So that's one of the things I really want. I would like a few more short sleeve tops, and then I don't really know. Comment down below, who do you think will win, complete stranger on the internet, or my husband? <laughs> <laughs>